Yo, so if you're wondering, yeah, this is my ugly nasally voice, you know. Might be a little bit of a shock to know that this is my voice, but it is. Probably not what you're expecting, but somebody in the comments wanted a guide, and I figured, you know, the normal little, you know, font text, it's, it's just not going to work for a guide that I'm trying to do, so. You know, and I tried. It just doesn't work. So I'm just going to use my voice. Uh, what I'm going to focus on today is pretty much just the B&Bs, his best buttons, you know, and, his, you know, the basics of his zoning. So I'll, I'll just start with his buttons. So pretty much the main buttons you're going to want to be using up close is this, um, this, and then sometimes you can, you know, if you shimmy them or whatever, or if you dash back and you catch them with something, you know, if you catch them trying to do something, you can throw this out and go into this. Those are pretty much your main buttons that you're going to want to be using. But usually what I like to start with is, is forward 2, you know, 2-1. Because that's very good. His forward 2-1 is great. Okay. Well, it's not it's not anything to, like, better than most characters. But for Robocop, it can be very good. I don't tend to like to do forward 2-1-2. Two, two, because if you do that, they can... If they know the matchup well, they can flawless block. I mean, a lot of people don't, because he's Robocop, the, you know, who plays this character? So, they're not going to really know the, the flawless block gap, whatever. I know some people that do, like, played against people that do, but most people don't. And it's easier to adapt to, even if you don't. So, I don't like to use it too much, unless I know I've got the punish and I can get the crushing blow off it. Then I don't like to, you know, end it. You know, do the end of it. Too much. But, just the four, you know, four, two, one. But if he's blocking, you know, you can dash back. Because normally after they block the two, one, they're going to want to, you know, hate you. Like an impatient. Especially if you, like, throw it out twice and the second time they're going to be expecting it. So they're going to throw out some, you know, a quick high or quick mid or whatever. You can dash back. And then if they throw that out, you can use your back three. Which is very good. Because it's range. And you can go into this. So, even if they continue to block, you can do this. You knock them full screen and start killing them. Or, you could dash back. And because they're going to expect that, they're probably just going to keep on blocking. You could do this. Dash back, dash forward, command grab. You know, there's, there's some decent mind games and mix-ups you can do with this, or... Some other cool, cool buttons, which, for whatever reason, I went on a gigantic tangent about the 4-2-1. Uh, you can do this. This is very good. That's such good range, you know. Sweep is good. Amazing range on the sweep. Um, what you can do a lot, you can hit confirm it into something, like... I don't even fucking know if that's a word, but you do that. So if you do down four into your low auto, that catches people a lot. I personally love, like, since you should always amp it. Or you could do the the down four into the back four two, you know, pretty much just com confirm it into things. It, it tends to catch people. Um, down three is very good as well. Down three is super good. It it hits out, comes out quick. Um, so you're gonna want to be using that a lot. Very quick. Yeah, it might sound scrubby, but I wake up with down three a lot. And if I, it works, I mean, you shouldn't do it too much. And it is very scrubby, but it works sometimes if you're in a pinch. 
another very good button you know another very good string you could do which for whatever reason i didn't say it's the main string you should also be using alongside these you know two wonderful things is this and then maybe you do this and that and one thing you can do is go like this holy shit okay i swear that works i will fucking die on this hill this works it works in so many real matches i do not know why it's not working in training but if you do one two one into the terminal strip command grab it should work don't know why it's not working here but I swear it works. It's when they get hit by it that it doesn't work. And then you can, you know, you lose your turn. You know, you can sometimes lose your turn because of it. But it's very useful to do anyways. So that's a very good button to do. So you should be doing that a lot. Okay. Um, you can also... Firm it into... The cannon. And that will not control screen, obviously. Then you can zone them or whatever you want to do. You know, you're zoning them. Um, they, they ain't not fucking getting close. If you're good enough, they're not going to get close. Or if they don't have a move that just removes neutral. Or completely destroys zoners. Then you should be good. Um, Another thing. This thing, it's alright. It's not good. It's not great, but it's alright. You're not gonna find me using it in combat, that's what I'm sharing. It's just, I don't, it's not pretty. It's not very good. Don't use this thing. It's alright, but it's not great. Yeah, and then these two, you know, they're your combo starters. You can start combos with them. So they're pretty good as well. Um, this thing. So you can catch people doing wake ups with it. One thing I do not recommend. Please, for the love of God, be very careful using it because, you know, all it takes is. See how easy that is? You know. It's just so easy to do that. Why would I ever... You know, it's such a risk. It's so easy to duck. So don't ever just throw it out just because... Or just because you want to land that combo already. Don't get impatient and use this move. Trust me. Do not do it. It's not good. Not good to do at all. Just on the fly, don't do it. Okay. But if you're... Let's say, you know, if they do a wake up. Let's make them do a wake up. Uh, what the hell is it? Get up mode. Oh, and get up attack. We'll have them chill heal. I think that's just his. Yeah. So... You can dash back. You know, obviously I'm catching with this. I mean, sometimes you're a bit too far away to get the actual combo started. So that's why doing it in the corner. When they do that. So like, let's say they wake up in the corner and do this. I wanna, I wanna, yeah, right there. Doing it in the corner is definitely the better option. And if you're mid-screen, what you should do for when they wake up. And then mid-screen, back three. Much smarter. Or you might actually be able to. 
Yeah, you can. My bad. My bad. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. I'm wrong. But. Still, like. You know. Some wake up stuff better over to me. It spawns, I think, so. Be careful. It's a very dangerous move to pull. However. If you do want to do a much, you know, in my opinion, safer option for a combo. Back two. Back two is a much safer, more damaging combo starter. Do that more. Don't, you know, use forward, forward two. Forward, forward two is very useful. But I think universally back two is just a better starter for like, pretty much no situation. So you're gonna want to be doing that much more than four four two, at least in situations where you're in that kind of moment where you go, screw it, I want to do a combo already. I'm tired of playing lane. You know, don't throw this out. Throw this out. Much smarter option. So this is as fast as mid. It's it's all right. You hold forward, it goes farther, so you go boom, you miss that first part, and you shoot it far enough so that it hits the guy. You know. Or you can make it so it goes closer, and I think it might be closer, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what the reason you'd want to make it. I think just, you know, doing it fast one, two, and then, you know, keeping it. I think it's like 7 frames, or I could be wrong, it might even be faster than that. Or slower. But I think this is as fast as mid. It's fast as mid. And it's alright. It's not, it's not a bad string, it's not a good sh you know, it's alright. It's alright. I wouldn't use it too much, but it's alright. Um, what else? But too late. Um, one thing I do not recommend is this. I don't like it. People can duck it. You have 50 years to duck it. I don't see the point in doing it. Even for a combo ender, I don't see the point in doing it. It's just not good, in my opinion. I, I've seen a lot of Robocops in this move. A lot. And I never understand why. The only times I see this move as good is when it's against another Robocop. Because, you know, Robocop's tall as fuck. So even most of the stuff that, you know, normally other characters can duck, sometimes he can't duck it. Like Kung Lao jails him. That stupid, um, back to one or whatever it is. He jails Robocop. All that. Robocop is, tends to get fucked over by his height, but... He's still pretty, you know, it's still pretty good mid. It's definitely good for something you can punish people with. Uh, yep. Now I guess I'll get into the combos so these are the combos you know they're, then I'll, I'll give some you know these are the real easy ones this isn't hard at all really i mean it's a little tough to get if you're new to robocop you know time is a little weird and you got to be at a certain range next to the opponent but if you you know you do forward forward two forward forward four two forward three two and then terminal strip So, you know, pretty, pretty simple stuff. It's not too hard. Doesn't give the best damage, but a lot of Robocop's combos don't really, unless you're in the corner. Um, but you can definitely get a lot more damage off the forward, forward two. Let's do this. Is is you can all you gotta do for this is pretty much just. Add in a back two, so forward, forward two, back two, forward. You know, fuck. <laughs> Sometimes I always mess up the terminal strip. I don't even know why. I, I never even have trouble with half circles in most games. I just have the trouble with in Mortal Kombat, because I guess I'm just not used to the weird. For whatever reason, they chose to give Robocop's command grab a different input than most command grabs. It's a little weird, but it's kind of. 
you know, it's easy. Back two, forward three, two, man grab. There you go. You can even keep zoning them, zoning them afterwards if you want. You know. Very good corner carry too. If you want to get them to the corner, you know. That's why I think terminal... Sh Another reason I think terminal stick is so good is because... You amp it. Just carry them to the corner. You're in the corner with them. It's so good. Such a good command grab. In my opinion, one of the best command grabs in the game. I think it's like 7 frames. So it's very quick. It's only downside, you know, obviously they can jump it. But that's not even a downside because it's a mid-command grab. So it's really good. Very good command grab. Um, but, you know, so aside from that, I'll keep on with the mid-screen combos with the back two. The back two, you can... Back two, forward, forward two. And then, you know... Back two, forward, forward two. Forward three two, and turn them strip. Knock them full screen. Or you can carry them to the corner once again. It's pretty good. It's always pretty good. But, you could definitely get more damage off with that. You could definitely get more damage off that if you... Fuck. Get more damage off it if you do this. Carry him right to the corner. So, that's a bit more challenging. And if you can't get it on your first try, it's fine. Um, it's, it's pretty much just, you know, back two. You dash forward two. Uh, what the fuck is the name of the anti-air? Let's see. It's, I can always forget. High auto, yeah. You just do high auto. Okay, gotta get him. Okay. I got it. I fucked up a couple of times, I'm not gonna lie. But I got it. I have a lot of trouble doing that, I, so I just prefer to, you know... Do the last one I show you usually, but some people have an easier time to, you know, converting off that down too. I can't, but some people have an easier time doing it. So now we're in the corner. This is my favorite spot to do the combos, obviously, because, you know, bigger damage, bro. Like, a bit much bigger damage. Do this. So, pretty much how to do that is you jump in back to four you know i'm probably i'm not even gonna fucking say how to do it i'll just leave it where it is you know it's gonna be in the fucking subtitles anyways wow well, i don't even know why i'm saying how to do it but it'll tell you in the video you'll get it so pretty much yeah that is very good damage 36 percent pretty good in my opinion um you can land you know if you land the jumping You can land a jump in and three down ones. You know, get pretty good damage off just a jump in for God's sakes. That's pretty good. Um, my favorite combos though, which you don't really get too often. Once in a blue moon, I do land these in actual games though. Fuck. Do land these in actual games. Pretty much how I think that works is if it does, you know, three hits, you know, it, it works with the thing. So pretty much anything that does three hits, and they're, they, you know, if they just land on that, if it does three hits, it's pretty much always going to work. So it's pretty good. All those combos are really flashy. But to be honest, you don't really land them too much in-game. But, you know, I just wanted to add that in there, because you might want to know. Um, there's this. Which I do enjoy landing quite a bit. So, forward, forward, two, back, two, down, on, down, one, you know. But, I don't really land to do this one that much, because... Does not... I think it's easier. So you could do that really if you wanted. But, you know, you pretty much are still going to want to end up doing it at the end of the day. You know, pretty much same old, same old stuff that has the back two. You know, the back two combo I showed you before, you know, this one. If you land a forward, forward two, and then if you want, you can 
that's going to it, but those are pretty much your generic and that you're going to want to be landing. In the corner, you're just going to do a standing four. And then there you go. Even without meter, it does 29%. So it's very good. Very good damage in the corner with Robocrop. So, I guess that's that combos will go into the zoning. Okay, so we're at the zoning part. Well, this is pretty much the best part of Robocop. You know, because without his zoning, he's just a little loser. You know, no overheads. You know, decent mids. Co pretty decent combos. You know, he's like, you know, a little loser without this. But his zoning, his zoning is very good. So... Now, what you're going to want to be doing a lot, I do not know how people live, live without the low auto. Low auto is your best friend. That's what you're going to want to use a lot in neutral. That's what you're going to want to be zoning with. That's what you're going to want to be doing everything with. Well, not uh, that's an over-exaggeration, but I love a low auto. I could not live without low auto. But that's where most of the zoning ability comes from. Because it's quick, and it always hits people a lot. It low-profile stuff, so let's have, you know, and, and you always crushing blows. So we have Sub-Zero, you know, let's say Sub-Zero fucking shoots an ice ball, right? Low-profile, what the fuck? That is meant to... What the fuck? That's meant to crush me. Okay. That was weird. I thought you were just meant to duck it. Not... What the fuck? That's not right. The hell? Alright, well that's a little inconsistent, but usually always hits in game actually, so it's alright. Um So No, I don't wanna fucking record. Hold on. Uh there we go. Okay. So yeah, his low auto is his best friend. Now another one of your best friends in zoning. Which is very good if you're really just don't trying to go pure lane loser. You can use Shovel Trap. Because people can't dash through Shovel Trap. So if Sub-Zero wanted to wave dash. You know, let's let's give me a second for when I want to. Okay. So let's say Sub-Zero wants to wave dash. Or I'm not making them wave dash because wave dash is actually kind of not good anyways. He can't. He gets caught in the trap and he can't dash anymore so he gets on the trap i can dash away shoot a couple of projectiles while i'm at it and i'm out so you know naturally because of this people are not gonna like the shovel trap they're not going to like fighting against it so i don't know why i even added that in but i did people hate the shovel trap people hate dealing with the shovel trap um, what you can do is pretty much, if Sub-Zero wants to, I guess, hold on, let me just go back into custom. So, let's say Sub-Zero's blocking, you know, he's dashing forward and he's blocking, okay? He's wave dashing toward me, he's getting closer and closer, he's, but if, if he keeps doing that, let me see, block mode all so if he really wants to keep blocking i can shoot him right back into the shovel trap if i want get yeah, right this is what it, basically i'm gonna start playing saying that this thing is also very useful because it knocks them full screen so let's say sub zero just keeps dashing forward he won't stop dashing forward, and then I dash forward, and I hit him with this. He's full screen again. And I can keep zoning like I please. You know, or, you know, he's, he got past the shovel trap, and obviously we don't want that. Push him right back into the shovel trap. Now he's got to go through it again. Or, we push him past the shovel trap. I guess we just push him into the shovel trap again. Um, we push him. Fuck. <laughs> we push him past the shovel trap, and now we've got to walk through it again next time he comes around. 
this thing is very useful and it's very useful to combo with the shovel trap because people are not going to be able to get around that well, they are but you know it's going to be a hell of a lot more annoying for them and they're getting their progress reset or you know even if they just want to get too close or you feel that it's too close you can just pull this baby out and you'll knock them back a bit more so i always like to have at least one meter saved even if i'm doing like one you know amp low auto keep them away you know or do more chip or do more damage i always like to save at least one meter i forgot about i you know that's what i've been doing recently what i used to do is i used to just spend meter and not give a shit but now i'm starting to kind of see i should be doing that a hell of a lot more so yeah um what else okay so aside from that though you know the shovel trap and the you know cannon or whatever what Sub-Zero's going to want to do, you know, obviously he's going to keep dashing. Fuck, I cannot wait dash with Sub-Zero. I do not even. Okay, so he's just dashing forward, right? He's doing this a lot. You know, he just keeps on dashing forward and blocking all my projectiles. And I see him. He's actually, let's just pretend Sub-Zero's wave dashing, okay? And he's wave dashing toward me. If I want, I can dash forward with him and do this. So... Anybody, in other words, anybody who's a little too over eager and they keep dashing forward, you can dash forward just at the right moment and you'll catch them with a command grab and knock them far. So, yeah. This always works. This works like nine times out of ten for me. You know, after a couple of times, they're going to start expecting it and they're going to like either short hop or jump. And they see you run toward them. So what you can do then is you can like you know what you can do then is you can 4 3 2 and then that or you know just do it normal in here you know yeah cuz you can like catch them a lot let's just put I know I, I I always have trouble doing the recording parts of these things like, um, recording the enemy, you know, the other motherfucker doing the jump or whatever. This three always anti -airs. The two misses sometimes, so that's why I don't do it all the time, but... Yeah. Point is, it, it can cause a lot of mind games as well if you're dashing forward and then doing the command grab. They're not gonna wanna... They're either gonna be a bit more careful about their dashing, or they're gonna either short and hot... Or just jump, and then you're gonna catch them with something, and then you can, you know, start pressuring them again. Um, so that's very good. I almost forgot to add, um, this thing. Very good, very useful. So, the grab is guaranteed after you land this. Grab guaranteed. They cannot... If you do it quick enough. Sometimes you don't do it quick enough. But the grab is always guaranteed. Fuck. Once they change that. But I'm pretty... Like 80... 80... You know, 90% sure that that fucking grab is guaranteed. Okay. So pretty much they either escape foul... And you get a crushing blow later. Or they, you know. Or they literally, like, just get normally grabbed. Or they tech it. So, it's it's not exactly a, a bad thing to do afterward. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess I'll quit recording now. So, I'll see you. I hope my voice wasn't too awful. And I hope this recording wasn't too, like... You know, this guy wasn't too awful. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you.